Hello, welcome to Castle View Diaries. This is episode three of my video vlog slash podcast series. You're very welcome here today. I'm Jen. I am the dyer, knitter, crafter, general maker behind Castle View Yarns. I live here in Suffolk in the UK with my husband, my three children and our cat. Um, and I will be sharing here as we go through the next week or two all of the crafty things that I've been up to. So stick around, grab a cuppa and join me as I show you what I'm what I'm doing over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to start this episode. I have got a very exciting little pile of things next to me here. Um, I've got three finished objects. Now, <laughs> that's a bit of a cheat because actually I didn't make any of these. These were things that were made by my wonderful sample knitters and crocheters and have arrived in the post which is super super exciting. Um, so a little while back I put out a request for some sample makers and lots and lots and lots of people replied which was amazing um, and I sent out lots of yarn. There's still a little bit more yarn to go out uh, to people to make things with but some of the items have started to come back in already which I just it blows my mind how fast people um, can make things to be honest because it takes me a long long time hence outsourcing so anyway I will share I've got three things here next to me I've got a hat a shawl and a pair of socks to share with you so I'll show you all of those and then we'll go into the, the kind of vlog part of the episode. So the, I'll show you the hat first. So this gorgeous hat. And this is the Rocky Shore hat. I'm just gonna double check the name of the maker because I think I have it in my head, but I don't wanna get it wrong. <laughs> Um, so the designer is Emma Zobel and it's a crocheted hat and this is made with my colourway Ways to be Wicked and it just, it just came out absolutely beautifully. I'm thrilled with this. It's really lovely. I love this pattern. I can put it on. It's a really big kind of like slouchy hat, super warm and cosy. I don't know about putting a big pom-pom on. What do you think? Maybe. I think maybe it needs a big pom-pom. I um, thought I would get the hat and see what I thought first before deciding about a pom-pom. But yes, this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this purple colour. So yeah, so the Rocky Shore hat. So it's a crocheted hat. This will be a lovely sample for me to have at yarn shows and just generally to show off this colourway. Um, so next up we have a pair of socks. So here are the socks. So these are the Liberty Lace socks and that pattern is by Becky Norman. And these were knit for me in my colourway Duchess Marie. So they've got this lovely, I'll just kind of show you the, the pattern, this lovely lacy design down the front that goes all the way down the, the leg and the top of the foot. Really pretty. I'm absolutely thrilled with how these came out on this colour. There are two. <laughs> Such a pretty pair of socks. So these will be a lovely sample. So that's the socks. Um, and then finally, we have the rose water shawl. This is gonna be hard to show you. I'm gonna hide behind it a bit. <laughs> so yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Really perfect one skein shawl pattern. So this is designed by Janina Callio. <coughs> And I'll put details of all the patterns 
uh, in the description box so you can find those. So this was knit out of Bright Copper Kettles which was one of my 12 days colourways from last year and then it's got this lovely edging, this sort of lacy edging on it. Really nice kind of autumnal shawl. I love the way that when you kind of hold it up the ends just kind of curl. It's so pretty. Absolutely thrilled with this. It's a really lovely, lovely sample. Perfect kind of coppery autumnal colour. Look at that. It's so pretty. It's like a tendril. <laughs> so yeah, so a shawl, some socks and the hat. So a complete cheat because I didn't make them, but I did dye the yarn um, <laughs> and I did pick the patterns. But yeah, I, I was I wanted to show these off, show off the the work that my wonderful sample makers did. So we will uh, end the kind of intro here, and go into the week. See what see what happens. <laughs> I've got a few things planned. Uh, I've got some knitting planned. Unfortunately, everything else seems to take precedent uh, priority at the moment and knitting time is a little bit scarce. But hopefully, as we're into November now, things are starting to calm down a little bit. Um, and I can enjoy cozying up with some knitting or crochet and get a bit of progress on some of those projects. Uh, because it would be nice to have something to show you that I've actually made. <laughs> So yes, I will end here and go off and do whatever I do and I'll bring you along with me. So stick around and enjoy the rest of the episode. We just had a lovely delivery from Fern Jewelry. So I'm all rid of the rest of Fern earrings. Try to show you these. will cause a fern earring addiction. Yeah, I would say that is true. These are all beautifully wrapped up and they're just completely destroyed. Destroyed them. Look at these. Look at the shimmer on those. Very excited to wear these over Christmas. So yeah, I've been a, a bit addicted to fern earrings recently um, and I have quite a few now. These will be perfect for December. So yeah, love them. Thanks very much. <laughs> Go check them out. Fern Jewelry Design. I have a nearly finished object. Um, is the bag that I have been keeping it in. This is from a little grey girl. It's a fabulous flamingos and pineapples. I love this size of bag for socks. This is perfect. Um, so I finished the second sock. Well, I say finished. They have no heels yet. Uh, so this is the neon highlighter yarn self-striping from All Wool That Ends Wool uh, that I got at Nottingham in 2019 and yeah so I'm pretty pleased with how well they match so now I just need to pop in the afterthought heels which is something that I've never done before so I need to be able to concentrate on that so I just need a quiet afternoon where I can um, work out how to do that and read some instructions, watch a video and figure out how to do it. So they're just shorty socks. They have taken me a long time. I started them in original lockdown, I think last summer. Um, and I did the first one quite quickly and then stalled for ages. So, but yeah, nearly done, nearly done. I've even sewn the ends in um, and I've got quite a lot of yarn yet left over i haven't weighed this yet um but there's quite a lot here because obviously they're just shorties so 
probably got enough for another pair or a pair of mittens or I don't know something else exciting so that's where I am with those and hopefully next time you see these they will be on my feet <laughs> um, and this is an excuse to cast on a new pair of socks yes I hope so because that's what I'm planning to do <laughs> I might try and get the heels done first because otherwise I may never do it. <laughs> Hi, I am about to dye up some snow globe which I haven't dyed for a while and I thought I would bring you along and show you a little bit of my process. So you can see behind me there's some yarn, there's some more over there um, and then there's some more down here as well uh, so I shall spin the camera around and show you what goes on when um, dyeing a colourway and there goes my phone <laughs> so this is how this colour all starts so I've got the yarn just laid out in some acid water so we've got sock yarn in here this is uh, Sparkle Singles, which is um, really lovely. I love this base. So this is actually in a slightly different mixture because I don't use the same acid for sparkly bases as I do for my other bases. And then if we come over here, I've got some chunky singles in there and some DK in there. Excuse the mess. These are leftover dyes and I use these for my one-of-a-kind skeins so those are sitting there waiting <laughs> for me to to do something with them um so yes yeah, so i will set the camera up and then i can show you a little bit of the process of getting this yarn dyed up okay so hopefully you can see that okay so the first thing i've done is mix up my dyes um and i'm going to pour this over the yarn and then we'll heat it up. This is one of my simpler colourways. It doesn't have as many steps as lots of my colourways do uh, because the speckles do all of the talking here, which is really fun. And speckling is definitely one of my favourite parts of dyeing yarn. I love the process, I love seeing how the colours interact with each other and I love using speckled yarn as well so win-win. <laughs> so I'm just giving these a bit of a mix around, let that colour penetrate down to the bottom layer a little bit. The underside will stay quite white but that's what we want. And then we'll turn the pans on. So while these are heating up, I'm going to go and do the exact same thing on the other pans that are over the other side of the room. So. I'll just take the lids off, it's a bit noisy. Once the yarn was hot, I um, flipped it over and added a bit more colour to the reverse side. And now I'm just going to flip it back again so that we're back to the original side of the yarn. Um, and I find that flipping the yarn a couple of times during the dyeing process just helps uh, to distribute the colour a bit. It means that different parts of the yarn are going to be taking the colour and the next time I apply some, oops, so I'm turning it back now to the original side that I was dyeing um, when I started. But just because of the way that the yarn bunches up in the pan, different parts of that yarn are going to get hit with colour. And that just means less pooling when you come to knit it, just distributes the colour nicely. So I'm going to flip this back over and then... It'll be time for the speckles. 
I have to wear my respirator mask. This just protects my lungs while I'm um, using dry dye powders. So I'm gonna put this on, which means I'm not gonna be able to talk to you <laughs> um, because you won't be able to hear me once this is on me. So what I'm gonna do is grab my colors. I've got various, various different colors and I'm gonna apply these. So I'm gonna speed up this video again so that you can see what's happening while I have my mask on and you can't hear me. So now I'm gonna pop the lids back on and cook this yarn until it's done. Then it will cool down and then it will have a good old rinse and a soak. It will need to dry, then it will need to be twisted and finally it'll be ready to go in the shop, hurrah. So I'm gonna pop the lids back on here now and let this cook. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the process really. This is quite a simple, um, yarn it doesn't have loads and loads of layers like some of my yarns do so um, this one was quite quick some have um, kind of up to about 20 different layers of color so this one was actually quite quick to show you <laughs> so yeah let's get this yarn cooked so it's a new day our yarn has been cooked it has been cooled, rinsed, rinsed again, soaked, then dried, um, then twisted and labelled up. And here is our snow globe yarn on all the different bases, ready to go onto the website. It needs photos taking um, and then the listings will be created. It will go onto the website and then it will head out to other people's houses and who knows what it will turn into this yarn has many possibilities which is always a really exciting thing to think about what could it be it could be anything so there we are I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of the process kind of um, start to finish uh, it was quite fun to to film some of that so I might film some more little dying videos for you at some point let me know if you enjoyed that and uh, yeah we could do it again sometime so here's the snow globe I had a delivery today from stripy cat yarns so I shall show you what I got <clears throat> so I ordered this a little while ago and this is called nutcracker it's her Christmas uh, colorway this year. And so this is a 50 gram um, skein with a 20 gram mini. That's all I really need for a pair of socks. Um, and it's a 75, 25. So this lovely self striping with all these different festive colors in it. And then a lovely neutral goldy kind of color to go along with it. Um, and then she also sent me this little bundle of minis because I helped out and sent some um, spare dye over a little while back. So those were a little extra. So thank you very much. These will be perfect for some heels and toes. Really pretty colours. But yes, this was my this was my order. So these will make a lovely pair of Christmas socks. Maybe I will share my stash of self-striping soon I've got quite a few Christmassy colors um, and now that my neon socks are almost done I reckon it's probably time to cast on some Christmas socks they might be ready by Christmas 
next year. <laughs> but they're fun to make nonetheless. I might be slow, but I enjoy it. So there we go. So this is Nutcracker from Stripey Cat Yarns. Hi. A very, very exciting parcel just came through the door. Um, and that is the first of the garment samples that I have had made. Unbelievably quick, I can't believe it. It's here already, amazing. So this is a Love Note sweater. Um, and it's a crop sweater. And it is knit in Poison Apple, my uh, Poison Apple colorway on sock yarn and on mohair, so it's fluffy. Um, and the sock yarn, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. The sock yarn is my gold sparkle sock yarn. I'll take it outside in a bit and take a, a better video of the sparkle for you. Um, but yes, I am absolutely thrilled to bits with this. It's so beautiful. It's so festive and cheery and oh my goodness. I'm just over the moon. <laughs> Look at that. This is going to be a fantastic sample um, for the shop. I'm absolutely thrilled. Um, and I can wear it to shows or I can pop it on a, a hanger at shows and just show off the colourway uh, and the yarn. So it's very, very exciting. Um, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to show you this. So it's the Love Note by um, Tin Can Knits knit in poison apple i will i'll go and see if i can get a video of the sparkle for you because it's really pretty <laughs> so as it turns out it's really really hard to get a video of the sparkle in this yarn i don't know if you can see it maybe just a little bit there you'll just have to trust me or come and see it in real life at a show sometime the gold sparkle sock is really pretty and it does show through the mohair because I wasn't totally sure whether it would and um, there you go you can see it a little bit there it's kind of catching the sun yeah so yeah I wasn't sure if the mohair would would kind of hide the sparkle um, but it's still sparkly hooray so there we go I'm working on something a little bit different today. I'm making a advent calendar, which I've been meaning to make for quite a while. Um, so I got this uh, kit, I suppose. So this is the backing and then, uh, sorry, this is the front panel, the backing, and then I've got my, these will be the pockets. Um, so I've pressed, pressed these and top stitched them Got the wadding in there so I'm going to quilt this bit together then sew the pockets on here and then there's just some finishing up bits so it's fairly simple really um, but it should be a really nice thing to have on the wall so yeah let's see if I can get it done for December the 1st fingers crossed Okay, so it's not quite finished. I haven't done the binding yet. Um, and it's not on a pretty hanger, but it is usable. Um, so I'm going to use this for this year's advent calendar for the kids. Um, and I have filled it up. I've got goodies in all the pockets. And it will get bound at some point either in December or maybe after we've finished using it in January. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with this. It's not perfect by any means, um, but it is lovely and it looks really pretty hung up. And I got it almost done. <laughs> not quite, but so close. So yeah, so this is um, 
the Joy panel by Makawa. And yeah, really pleased with this. So pleased that I finally got it out of the cupboard and done. Hooray for that. And it's just got some stripe on the back and then I've got some kind of matching green to go around around for the binding. So yeah, still a couple of bits to do on it, but very pleased that it can be used this year for Advent, which is um, tomorrow. <laughs> so it is Monday, the 29th of November. I thought I should wrap up this podcast um, before Advent season hits and all the craziness that goes with that. I'm currently sat outside um, my daughter's dance lesson. It is two degrees. <laughs> I have to sit in the car for an hour and it's really, really cold. So I've got all the knitwear on um, to keep me warm. I don't like having the engine on all the time. So I just kind of blast it for a few minutes every so often. <laughs> um, but it's freezing. So these mitts I knit ages and ages and ages ago. I think they're called My Cup of Tea or Afternoon Tea Mitts. I'll find it and I'll link it below. Um, and then my hat was made for me um, in an advent swap I did with my lovely local knitters last year. No, year before I think. It's the year before last. And then I've got my litmus cowl on. Um, and lots of layers under my coat. Anyhow, um, Advent season is nearly upon us. I am very, very excited. I can't wait to show you my own Advent and also the Advents that I have got for myself uh, to open and enjoy throughout December. So I have got, I've got an Advent swap, which I've done organised by Lay Family Yarn. So it's just a swap between myself and one other person. Um, we have swapped 10 grams per day plus a skein of Christmas Day so that's really exciting. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to make with that. Um, those might go into scrappy blanket projects or I might decide to make a separate project. I've also got my Henny Penny Makes advent calendar and Erin and I did a swap again. Um, so she sent me her advent and I sent her one of mine. Uh, so that's a 20 gram sock calendar and I haven't decided what to make with that one yet either. <laughs> um, and then I've got, sorry, I've got hair in my mouth. Um, then I've got my Fiber Fox Advent, which is, I think I ordered the Sparkle sock. Pretty sure I ordered the Sparkle sock. And I'm planning to make a dust of snow wrap with that one. So I'm going to hold it alongside just some undyed mohair uh, and, and make a wrap with that. So that's that's the plan for that one. And then I've got the Pixie Yarn Advent, uh, which I got in DK this time. Um, so I've got a selection of different yarns in my, all my advent calendars. Uh, and that one I'm going to make, uh, oh gosh, what is the pattern called? It's a new pattern. It's a cowl. Something like, something about petals. Oh gosh, complete brain freeze. I can't remember what it's called. I will put the name of it down below, but you'll hear more about that over the coming few weeks anyway, as I start it and knit it. Um, it's been a bit of a week, I will admit. My husband has had the dreaded COVID. He tested positive a week ago. Um, and we have been really keen not to spread it throughout the house. So he has basically been isolating upstairs in one room, plus the bathroom. Um, so everything's been on me, really. Which is fine, because that's what we decided to do. Um, but it's just been quite full on. So my brain is a bit fried, I'll be honest. Hopefully not too much longer. And touch wood, fingers crossed, my tests are negative at the moment. Um, so it seems to be working. So we shall see. We shall see. Anyway, it's been lovely sharing my adventures with you this month. It has been a little bit light on 
crafting time I will admit um again there's just so much going on so much going on <sighs> yes what can you do I need more hours in the day don't we we really do you have to carve the time out don't you and I have not been very good at doing that recently so let's make more effort to do that and actually last year I found that having the advents was really good for me to just carve myself out that time each day to enjoy opening them even if it was just like opening them um, but then also winding the skeins up and doing a little bit of, of knitting on whatever projects I had on the go last year um, not that I have finished all of those but I did finish some of them <laughs> Uh, so yeah I'm excited for advent season and I'm excited for December Christmas haven't really got that organized for it yet but um, there's still time there's a few weeks it's getting dark and my windows are fogging up a bit so I'm gonna have to blast the heating for a few minutes so I'm gonna leave it there I will be back again very soon with the start of all the advent craziness. <laughs> um, so I will catch up with you then. And thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, a like, a subscribe, it's all very much appreciated. Um, or just your time. And if you have any comments or questions, then leave them for me down below. So I will see you again next time. Bye. <laughs>